Hey guys, how's it going? It's a uh, height here, and we're back with a brand new first look to the channel. This game is called 64, and as far as I can tell, it is a minimalistic factory building game. Probably some idle elements are going to be involved. I think what you basically do is you set up a factory, you get resources, and you use those resources to get you more stuff. And at some point, I'm imagining there's going to be a little bit of idle involved. But like I said, I don't know fully. This game is brand new to Steam. Comes out. It has just come out on Steam. Brand new. You can go ahead and you can check it out if you think it is something you're interested in. But we are going to go and we are going to hop in to a brand new game. Where are you? Why is it so small? I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. All right, what do you see? Why is it? Is there no sound in this game? Well, not much. There's this machine here. It looks kind of familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. What machine? Hold on. Maybe I can. Maybe you can what? Wait, tell me you're not touching some random machine right now. Oh, I'm touching it. I'm touching it. Press and hold? Press and hold what? Press and hold on here? Oh! What the heck? It's working! It just created something! What am I doing? Always click on the cell underneath. What? in the heck place this next to a cube to break it twice as fast requires an elmarine to operate additional destabilizers increase the effect prevents the cube extracting machine from resetting to the original position if placed next to requires a sharonite to operate a huge black cube is so smooth i really want to break it are you high <laughs> i now have 64 stones well okay then have fun with that so what, I just keep clicking, I just keep clicking stones, and then what? Oh, we have to farm up 512, I guess. Alright, does that do it? That does it. Place next to a cube to break it twice as fast. Requires Elmarine to operate. What is Elmarine? I think I can build machines now. I should build something to help break these cubes more e easily. If a cube shows up in an adjacent cell, even diagonally, it should work. See, now the problem is, wait, are you playing some weird game? You're starting to creep me out. Okay, so if it works diagonally, then that means this, if I put it here, should affect all of those. But if I put it in here... I think I can put one here to get these three. And then I could probably put one on this side. Right right in the middle here to get all the rest of them, maybe. Now I just need to put yellow stone inside this machine. Whatever makes you happy. Jokes aside, are you coming over today? Okay, I think I need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotta get in here. If I put... Oh, I don't have enough stuff for that. Definitely. I'll be there in a few hours. Just need to finish this up. What exactly are you doing? I'll text you later. I need to keep pushing the machine. Sorry. <gasps> There's a yellow in there. Oh my god, we got a yellow. Elmarine. Fool's gold. Okay. Hey, I found some yellow stone. Good for you, man. <laughs> oh, we got some more yellow. Okay. Oh, we still don't have enough. I need a little bit more. Alright, let's get a little bit more. And then if I put this thing right here... It, between the two of these things, they should be able to reach all of them. I don't know if at some point we get to automate this or what's going on. But that guy right there should be able to decrease my clicks by half. Okay, and then what's the other one? A destabilizer upgrade quadruples the power of resource crushing processes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's way faster now. Oh, dig down 64 meters deep. 
This is a depth machine that we're using. Oh, we're starting to find orange cubes now. Okay, that's interesting. Although it didn't actually give me any orange cubes. Just some more yellow ones. I believe machines influence each other when placed in adjacent or diagonal cells. For example, this fan needs to be placed next to the first machine to speed up the process. This fan? The channel cooler? Place this next to the cube extracting machine to extract cubes twice as fast. Additional coolers increase the effect. What is, is that this thing? Place this next to a cube extracting machine. I don't think I have one of those. I don't know if we can break things after either. Like, how does this work? Am I able to like delete things or this just, just my life now? I think that's just my life now. <laughs> You're making so much sense right now. Okay, great. So I guess we just keep going. Place this next to the cube extractor machine to extract cubes twice as fast. Twice as fast as twice as fast? Four times as fast? Prevents the cube extracting machine from resetting to the original position if placed next to it. Requires a Charo Knight. I think this thing here is the cube extracting machine. Place this next to a cube extracting machine to extract cubes twice as fast. Oh, that makes sense. We can pull cubes out of the ground faster. So if I put this thing here... Yeah, it's got to be immediately adjacent, which kind of sucks. Uh, maybe I'll put it over here. Prevents the cube extractor machine from resetting to the original position if placed next to. Requires Charonite. Okay, we'll put this thing down. And I don't have any more money, so we can't do that. But this should be twice as fast now once it actually starts going. Oh, it's way faster. Look at it go. Okay, well, that's good news. Let's farm up some more blocks so we can buy some more of this stuff. Prevents it from reversing. So if I put this thing down, I think what's going to happen is this is not going to come back up after, which is going to save me a little bit of time in the future. does still go up, so I'm not sure what that means. Prevents the cube extractor machine from resetting to the original position. Oh, did I not put... I didn't put anything in here. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. So now, if I put this down, we zoop it up really fast, and it's not coming back up. Okay, that's great. Oh, that's so much faster now. Okay, look at us go. We're printing cubes. I love it. All right, so I'm going to want to break cubes even faster, and I think the only way to do this properly is something like this. We're going to just go crazy on these cubes on the left side here. So this should just rip now. you love to see that. So I'm really hoping at some point they're going to give me, like, a, brock, a block breaker machine. Um, we've already got all this stuff. What else is there to do right now? I guess I can make one of these. Prevents the cube stretch machine from resetting. I've already done that. A reverse valve upgrade provides pressure to the source channel if placed next to it. Requires eight Elmerdine to operate. Additional pumps do not increase the pressure in a source channel. What the heck is a source channel? I don't know what that means. Okay, well, we've got enough points here. I could start trying to figure out what this does. I think it might work on... Oh, no, it works on that thing. A reverse valve upgrade provides pressure to a source channel placed next to it. I don't know what that means. But it won't let me put it there for some reason. It won't let me put it there either. Uh... Do I have to put it on top of one of these other things? Uh-oh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that after all. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully that's... Oh! Oh, so I don't have to push it no more. Oh, that's terrific. 
Now all I gotta do is click. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, I like that. Now all I have to do is click. The hard part's over. And maybe it's time to get another fan because I think the fans speed this thing up, right? Next to a keeper shutter machine. Face is fast. Yep. So we want to go even faster. We're going to put this thing right there. That should just start ripping these guys up. Perfect. And we're running out of everything. So let's just keep this going. Moving and grooving. So the only thing I haven't made yet is this industrial destabilizer. A destabilizer upgrade quadruples the power of resource crushing processes. So I don't know. Is, is that going to help? Okay, we can just override our other buildings. What? What's this big yellow bar here? I don't know if it's actually making this faster or not. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's, I only have to click these things like three times. Hang on, let's see. One, two, three, four times. I got to click them four times. So maybe it is helping. Now, I wonder if I could override this thing now. I, I maybe don't need the reverser. If I'm constantly applying pressure, maybe I can actually speed this up even more. Well, let me do that. I can't build over top of that piece. I don't even know how to get rid of things either. I don't even know if I can get rid of things. Maybe I can't. We're just gonna have to deal with it now. Get quanin, quanin, quantite. Get quantite. Well, where are you? We've been waiting for you for ages now. What do you mean? I'm still here. Where? I'm just doing my thing. We're getting purple now. I've got a blue stone. Okay, blue. Whatever. Purple. Or is it? Yeah, exactly. Or is it purple? It sounds like an antique brass candlestick. I think I could use it to remove misplaced machines. Oh, yeah. How do I do that? Are you kidding me? I thought you said you were coming. What the hell? Where's the delete? Periodically crushes resources if placed next to a cube. Periodically crushes resources. So I think if I put this here or here. Let me put it here. I put some stuff in it. Oh crap, we don't have any more purple. Hang on. Wow, I can use Q to clone machines or destroy them. If I click on a free cell first, an alt helps to see behind tall machines. Alt? Click? Alt? Oh, I see. Okay, you can hover over stuff. Q to clone a machine or destroy them if I click on a free self first. Ah, okay, okay. We got to get more purple. And then we can likely get rid of this tile and turn it in for... Okay, let's try this. We're going to copy this blank square, put it here. And this machine kind of still keeps it down, which is perfect. That's what we want to see. So that means I should be able to get another fan and shove... Although, let's see what else we've unlocked now. Maybe there's something even better. So what do we got here? What are the new things? Entropy resonator periodically crushes resources. This thing is not working because I didn't put one of these in there. All right, it it kind of works. It's not the best. I should probably put another one in the middle here. Then these two would just be working all the time. What else do we got? Slowly reacts quantite with charonite to produce elmarine that seems pretty good restores machine returning 50 percent of the resources used to be extracted okay so i think what we want to do is delete this square and probably delete a few more squares and then we can put this guy in here and that should speed things up even more for us so i can just keep clicking as fast as i can oh i love it we got a new thing down here. This is the resonator or the enrichment vat. And now this thing I imagine doesn't really have to go anywhere specific. So maybe I'll like put it up here out of the way. And if I put, oh, put that in, I need 32 purples. Slowly reacts quantite with charonite. Oh, that's this one. To produce Elmarine? I don't want that. That's awful. 
I don't think I want that. All right, what are the other things we unlocked? Is that it? Entropy resonator, that's the one we're using already. This thing we're using. Okay, I think we're using everything. So now the next thing we have to work on is just getting a whole pile of these things going because then I don't have to do anything. I guess maybe at some point what's going to happen is we're only going to get purples because we're going to get so deep and we're not going to get orange anymore. And then, yeah, we'll be able to turn the purple into orange. So maybe that's not the end of the world. Having this thing over here. Maybe it's fine. Let's actually try it and see what the ratios are here. I don't know how much we get out of that thing, but we're going to go for it. Okay, let's get some more resonators going. I'll put this one down up there. Whoops. And I think I could probably get rid of these guys. I don't know if they're actually combining or not. I guess once one runs out, I can count how many times it takes me to hit the blocks. And then we'll know for sure. It's one, two, three. Oh, that one doesn't count. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's weird that this one in the middle is only taking three shots. It must be because it's getting reached by both of these. So it actually does work, but it just maybe isn't like super worth it. Okay, that one just ran out. So let's see how many times I have to hit this one up in the top now. It's only getting reached by this one. So we got one, two, three, four, five. It does take five times. So it does help a little bit. It basically takes one click off per machine that's per one of these things that's touching the block. But I don't know if that really matters all that much. I think it's probably better for us to actually just demolish these and put in some more of these resonators once I can afford them. Okay, we'll put that in there, fire it up. Does that guy reach up there? I think he kind of does a little bit. Okay, so I don't even have to touch anything anymore. This game's just going to kind of do itself for a while. Lovely. I'm going to go grab myself a coffee. The other thing is the prices of the machines does go up every time you buy one. Because they weren't costing me 3500 bucks to start with, and they definitely are now. So we're going to have to kind of use this stuff efficiently. I don't know what happens once you've used it. And then broken it. I'm imagining the price comes back down again, but I don't know for sure. I wasn't really paying attention when I was breaking stuff, so I'll have to just be a little careful maybe with our placements. I'm not sure. Are you guys still there? Holy crap. Where are you? Are you okay? <laughs> of course I am. What the hell? Are you okay? Where are you? Chill, man. I'm okay. What's going on? Let's put another one of these down. Make sure it's got fuel. Okay. We can just keep going, I guess. You tell me. You've been ghosting me for two weeks now. I even went to your place a few times, but you weren't there. Just tell me where you are. That's it. Are you home right now? That's interesting. Dude, what are you talking about? We texted each other literally two minutes ago. <laughs> Ah, not when you're in a factory simulation. What is wrong with you? First you didn't show up, then you disappeared completely, and now you act like nothing happened. I'm asking you a simple question. Where are you? I'm here. Where? Hold on. It's not funny, man. Where are you exactly? Can you tell me that? Well... I want more resonators, I think. Dude, I don't actually know. Give me a minute. Great, two weeks later. What do you mean you don't know? I need to gather my thoughts. Let's make this more of this yellow stuff. I think we're probably gonna want some at some point. Is everything all right? Are you safe? Should I call someone? No, I'm good. I just, I'll text you in a bit. Damn, man, what's going on? I guess I could try to get another destabilizer in here. Like this one right... Oh, dang it. I gotta wait for that block to get it out of the way. If I can stick one... Okay, okay, okay. I need to turn this off somehow. I can't actually build things right now. Unless I copy pasty. Hang on. Wait for this one to get broken. Oh, I'll copy that. Slap it in there. Didn't work. How about... Now...
It actually won't let me put it in here for some reason. I wonder why. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually an upgrade for this other one. Destabilizer, we put this in here. And then we put this on top. Okay, that's why it won't work. So between those two, these guys here should be ripping. It's not as fast as I would. Oh, I have to put power in there. There we go. It's okay. I would like it to be faster. I think we need more of these miners. What the heck are they called? The resonators. We're going to need more of those guys for sure. But this is not bad for now. I'm going to make another one of these domes as well. We're not actually getting any yellow anymore. Like I thought was going to be the problem. We're only getting purple and black. So that's going to have to be working in the background. I mean, this is not bad for now. I guess we could put some more destabilizers up to make this mine even faster for now. Do something like this. I can't afford another one right now, but we can, once we can afford it, we can put another one back here. Make sure they both have juice. And that's going to help a little bit. And we can upgrade those eventually. I can put more of these resonators on either side here. And then these two things here should just be getting mined constantly, nonstop. I just realized I have this thing over here still that I don't need. Because it's not actually doing anything. So we can get rid of it. I guess I could put another fan there. I don't know what else to put there right now. Um, I guess I could put a fan there. And then we could get rid of one of these other fans. Perhaps. Um, I guess that's honestly probably the best thing we could do. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this right now, though, because it's just going to get filled with another block as soon as I break this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for this thing to run out of juice. All right, let's put this in here. I'm going to leave just the fans for now. I think eventually it will make sense to get rid of these fans. But for now, I'm just going to leave them. Let's make sure that thing gets juiced up again. And yeah, those are just going to shoot up. It's going to take some time for them to get broken, but that's okay for now. Let's get these things filled up here. And now we just got to start saving up some more money. Well, for the these guys. Auxiliary pumps? No, that's not it. Uh, industrial destabilizer. And save up some money for that and we need to save up some money for some more of these resonators but i think we want the destabilizers first all right let's see if i got enough money here to get two more destabilizers we'll put one there and we'll put one there and once we juice these things up here that should be quite a bit faster it's okay. It's fine. It still saves me some time to actually click on it. So I'm just going to keep clicking. There's no point not clicking. I'm not just going to sit here and stare at my screen. So once we get some more destabilizers. Also, what depth are we at? We're up 446 meters right now. Which is good. But we can always go deeper. I wonder if it's going to be worth at some point getting rid of this tile in the middle and letting cubes come back into it. Once I get more miners, it might be worth it. I don't know. We'll just, we'll keep playing around and we'll see how things look. Right now though, my mining speed is definitely governing because I, I'm pulling, I'm extracting stuff faster than I can mine. So we're going to have to work on that. I think we just need some more of these destabilizers, not destabilizers, the resonators. We're going to need some more of these things. They're pricey though. 4200 bucks for one Oof, we're getting close we're getting close i can buy another one here and we'll see how it goes some of these things are starting to run out of fuel already which is fine i mean we got 1100 power so that's okay we'll just keep it at it keep up at it and we'll see how things work out here okay so we got another power i just put it in here just to see if it actually does help put that down now is this thing able to like mine this really quickly or not as quick as I would like. Not as quick as I would like still after all that. I don't want my cubes to stop being mined is the kind of the problem I'm at. 
And I wonder if it's probably better to get rid of this one in the middle. Oh, I don't know. How much do I need? $5,000 for another one of those. Although we can delete this. Let's just see if it helps. It might make it worse, honestly. Eh, whatever. I think it's fine. At least we're constantly digging now, it seems. Well, like, almost constantly digging. We're up to beta piling. I am scared. It seems I don't know where I am. <laughs> Let's make some more of the yellow stuff. I probably don't really need it right now. We got 2,000, but this is so weird. I mean, everything is fine with me, but I can't describe this place. It's like a dream, but then again, it's not. Everything is white, and there are these machines and cubes. It doesn't make any sense. What is this? An auxiliary pump upgrade provides quadrupled pressure to source channel if placed next to it. It requires 256 Elmarine and 4 beta piling to operate. Multiple stations do not increase the flow in source channel. So do I put this next to this or on top of it? If placed next to... Okay, so we're going to have to do that at some point. I mean, that is definitely not anything we have to worry about right now. Uh, where was I? I'm not high or anything. I just realized how strange it is that I never noticed that this wasn't like anything I'd ever seen. Now I got redstones, and it's kind of creepy that I'm totally fine with all this. Okay, just a redstone. Everything is fine. So you're not kidding. I see how it all sounds now, but yeah, it's all here before my eyes. Can I do anything for you? Just talk to me. That's it. Can do, buddy. Can do. By the way, cops are not looking for you like you went missing. Did you show them our texts? How would that help? No, I turned on auto delete. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's put another one of these up here. That should help mine a little bit faster for us. That's actually doing pretty good. We're almost mining 100%, or uh, almost extracting 100% of the time. It's not bad. What else do we get here? Sharonite sump reclaims Quantite from liquefied charonite sediments in the presence of catalysts. Don't know what that means. Channel sources via stream. There can be only one. Material streamer tower? Recycling towers. Allow machines recycling, which returns 90% of the resources. There can be only one. Okay. Uh, well, it turns out... Oh, how's it going over there? Well, it turns out I can move around by using WASD, but there's nothing interesting around except that strange rock up north. So your phone's compass works there. Well, it's just up from here, so I guess that's north. Makes sense. And the thing is, I don't have a phone. So how are you texting me? I don't know. I just know when you message me and I can respond to you. It's not easy to explain. Don't sweat it. We can talk, and that's already good enough. Yes, you're right. All right, there's supposed to be a rock up here. Where's the rock? Hello? How do I get back to the base? Oh my gosh, I'm going to end up in trouble. Where is this thing? How far up do I have to go? I'm scared I'm going to lose my way back. Uh-oh. I've already lost my way back. Okay, I don't want to go up there. How do, there's no way to center myself again. R, E, C, X. No one of these buttons. One, F1. No. Okay. Spacebar. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to go up there. Maybe he'll give me some more clues later. Anyway, what I was working on before I was so rudely interrupted by all those messages. Uh. Reclaims quantite. What's which one's quantite? Okay. Reclaims quantite from liquid liquefied charonite. Okay. So we're gonna start turning black into purple. Uh in the presence of a catalyst. I don't know what the catalyst is we're going to be, but we're probably gonna have to get some of that. Can't do that yet, can't do that yet. There was something else up here. An auxiliary pump upgrade provides quadruple pressure to a source channel if placed next to it. Requires 256 Elmerdine. I think this is going to override this thing, but I don't know if I necessarily need that right now. Because I can't mine fast enough anyway. 
So, you know what we could do? I think I need to clean this up a little bit better. But once we put that on, the quad pressure thing, maybe I can get rid of some of these fans and we can get more miners going. That's not a bad idea. Okay, before we wrap up this episode, let's give this a go. So, I am going to copy the blank square. That is going to open up this whole area for us. I'm actually going to get rid of this one too for now. And I think what I want to do is put this thing here. Put the auxiliary pump on top of it. And then if I can, put that even better pump on top of it. Ooh, it's $8,000. Okay, we can't do that right now. But... Actually, this is fine. If I fuel that up, that thing's just going to extract all these cubes. Oh, it's slow now, though. Very slow. Okay, let's put these back, on at least on this side for now. That's going to help quite a bit. And we're going to be able to extract more consistently, I think, this way. And then eventually I can put more of these guys right here on this corner right here. Yeah, and that will help out again a little bit more. That's not bad. I think we're going to carry forward with this. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this episode right there. In the next one, I want to try and get this new pump going. Where the heck is it? Where is that new pump? This guy, the pump station. I want to try and get that going and then see if we can get rid of some of these guys. Whoops. There we go. Okay, we also got to start making some purple out of black, which is going to be interesting. But we're going to work on all that in the next episode. So, guys, I hope you are liking it so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.